Hey y'all, welcome back to We Seek Summits. We're Jesse and Dominic. We're excited to be here after some craziness. We are gonna finish up our A2E Lang Lang series with the last few oils, and this week it is the ever popular Wild Orange. So this is Happy Wild Orange Day. Um, Wild Orange is in all of these blends, plus, uh, <laughs> um, plus Citrus Bloom, which we don't have in oil form, oh my goodness, and Midnight Forest, if you still have that one. Everybody loves Wild Orange, it's a huge crowd pleaser, it's very uplifting, it smells like sunshine in a bottle, it's a great uh, first oil for people to just say, hey, smell a drop. Inhale deeply, tell me what you think. Um, and it is, yeah, it's an amazing oil. So, it is sourced from Brazil, and why don't you tell us a little bit about it? So, like with most citrus oils, they cold press the rinds to release the oil. This is not distilled in mm -hmm. any way. Um, so, you know, it's very key as a part of that that you have uh, farms that don't use chemicals and, and all of that in, in her intimately involved with the production of the fruit so that when they're crushed and the oil is made, um, it is a, qual a high quality mm -hmm. oil as in doTERRA. Mm -hmm. uh, it comes from Brazil. Yes, and yet again, this is another one where many local farmers, you know, they, they harvest from many local farms, making sure that they all uh, have the same quality there. So it's really supporting the local region there in Southern Brazil. And there's, there's a lot of different types of orange, right? Mm -hmm. There's, there's hybrids, there's crossbreeds. Um, this one is citrus, Cinesis. Mm -hmm. So it is not a hybrid. It is a, a pure orange and um, I believe it's not super sweet, right? You know, like wild orange is Yeah, yeah, it's kind of super sweet. We we will agree that this one um, Tastes very true to the smell and the smell we will go ahead and since I described it Let's go ahead and do a drop here. Yeah, um, the smell is just very bright Yeah, and it's all it's yeah. just like sweet. biting the, the rind of an orange. I mean yeah. exactly yeah. what you would think um but chemistry, you know, so we, like with most citrus, you know, it's, it's a broken record by this point, but we have <laughs> D-limonene, um, or limonene, however you would like to say it. Mm, it is a monoterpene, and 95% of this oil is monoterpenes. Um, so it's going to be very cleansing to the cells, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's where we're going to see it is in digestive support, immune support, mm -hmm. and why it is in the host of blends, which maybe we'll list those yeah. in a moment. But some of the other interesting things about the chemistry, again, because it's not distilled, it's cold pressed, you get some larger molecules. And we get all the way up to tetra terpenes oh, whoa. Um, in this, this oil. So that's kind of cool. Um, you know, they're going to support our bodies in other ways that other oils won't be able to do. And then, but we have the smell, right? Aldehydes are there. We have some alcohols. We have some ketones, um, some esters. And then we get into what are called furanoids. Okay. Which is why you should not put wild orange like other citruses on your skin and then head outside into the sun. So mm -hmm. while this is great to use in lotions and things like that, just be a little wary mm -hmm. that yes, you know, um, avoid sun direct sunlight exposure to those areas for about 12 hours to be on the safe side. Yeah. Yeah. So great application of those because for instance, they're in some of our blends um, on guard, of course, Dominic mentioned all things immune supporting, wild orange is great for that. Um, so on guard, it's in the kids Brave, it's in um, Cheer, which is also available in a roller bottle. And uh, one fabulous way to do that is put it kind of on the back of the neck, especially if there's, you know, hair there, or if you're wanting to do it kind of for an all day thing, you could do it basically someplace that's not gonna get direct sunlight if you're mm -hmm. out in the day. Um, we also have added it to, it is in DDR Prime, which is the cellular support blend, but um, my friend Lori has made a blend she calls Brain Food, and that we make our own roller bottle here, and that is DDR Prime, Vetiver, Patchouli, uh, Pettigrain, Copaiba, and we add more wild orange to that as well to just super support the brain um, health and all that. With that, oh well, Citrus Bliss, it's in Citrus Bliss, which of course everybody loves. Um, citrus Bloom, which is a huge crowd pleaser. It is also in ones like Holiday Joy, which has similar benefits to On Guard in terms of the immune support, but it's in Holiday Joy. It's also in the temporary blends, I mentioned Midnight Forest, but uh, Malama and the Heeg blend, which are both just 
warming and calming and all things like comforting and inspiring at the same time. And what's interesting is if you notice that wild orange, which is very bright and uplifting, but it's in a lot of these blends like the DDR Prime, the Higa, the Malama, um, it's also in um, adaptive because again, that's one of those we want to be calm, but not sleepy calm. We want to be sharpened and awakened uh, with excellent brain function. And so wild orange really helps with that like sharpness and that energizing without being like a crazy caffeine high. And adaptive comes in all the ways, uh, comes in a roller as well. And we've really been loving the adaptive calming mist, which was available as a holiday, but we also just keep refilling this. Um, and that's a great way to get it. And <laughs> Lots of blends. Uh, and it is in the brand new Hope Roller, which has amazing cool stories. Um, the new one, now released at convention, is reformulated. It has wild orange in it, plus a lot of woods, so it kind of has that great balancing, grounding effect too. Um, but uh, $10 of every purchase of this goes to help fight human trafficking. So it's a great way to enjoy oils. We've been rubbing this on our kiddos. Anyway, a little small note there. So but it, all is, it is quite ubiquitous <laughs> in its use, uh, mainly because it, it's just such a bright and uplifting yeah. smell. So if you really want to bring that, that citrus, you know, mm -hmm. quintessential citrus um, mm -hmm. to the party, so to speak, you, you know, yeah. lemon is a great option, but so is wild orange. And, and really, okay, this is the number one way we use it, is anytime we use these blends, we're, we're using wild orange. Sure. But for us to use it in its kind of more pure form is really like cooking or with beverages. So yeah. whether yeah. you're you're baking and you're you want to work orange um, into a flavoring like for an icing or something like mm -hmm. that, just grab the oil and, and put that in there. Um, I like drinking it in water. Mm -hmm. Other people do Great too. One. I kind of rotate between lime and maybe tangerine or wild orange. Just kind of depends. Yeah, kind of rotate. Through. You know, uh, Great keep for, like, it interesting. Salad dressing things, you know, kind of think things are lighter. Um, if you think of like how you would use marinades, I actually don't use the citrus kind of early in the cooking and things like baking or uh, heat searing because it might sort of flash off or you would damage it, but kind of an end. So if you grill a piece of meat and then marinate it in a sauce, wild orange would be a great one to add to that. Uh, it's just really versatile in cooking. It's probably one of our, one of our top used culinary wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like think even hot chocolate with some peppermint. I mean, oh, wild yeah. orange is great. Oh, yeah. Any, you can tweak it, add some spice, you know, mm -hmm. if you're in the fall seasons or holiday seasons or just when it's sunny and bright out. You know, mm -hmm. again, it just speaks to the, the uplifting and the abundance that mm -hmm. is kind of conveyed um, in this oil in terms of its aromatherapy. Tell us about it, yes. So, Tell us about its emotional aromatherapy. I mean, it's, it's really that, to support the emotions. It's, it's all about uplifting, abundance, um, not being stingy, kind of mm -hmm. letting things go, not being too uh, caught up in Miserly yourself. Or, yeah. You know, it just yeah. all these things. It's just a wonderful, bright, uplifting aroma. Yeah, kind of one that you want to share and sort of inspires generosity and all yeah. that. Um, yeah. So, and then, and use then it. cleaning. I love it. Oh, yeah. You sure. know, again, main constituent, limonene. It's a great cleanser. So whether it's uh, you know a cleaning spray that you're making, or uh, it's actually really good um, for hardwood floors. Like if you're making your oh, own yeah, cleaner like for hardwood floors, like you polish. know, I mean, just think about all the products out there that use citrus no, oils, yeah. right? Citrus um, scent or orange scent, you know. Um, so definitely, uh, or for a wood polish, a mm -hmm. little bit of wild orange and arbor vitae. Uh, with a, just a tiny bit of carrier oil and water uh, will really bring out the luster and shine in, in wood furniture Ooh, luster. as well. So, yeah. Bring out your luster. Great ways to use it. Okay, I think that's it. It's straightforward. Use it. Love it. And share uh, it with friends because it is very approachable. One of the most approachable, you know, it's not like peppermint where if you get it on your skin, it's a little too spicy. Yeah. Again, just the UV, but... Uh, it is a very mild oil. You can use it all the ways, aromatically, mm -hmm. topically, internally, neat, and you're set. Yeah. I like it. All right. Thanks, Thanks. y'all. And we will see you next time as we, oh gosh, we're getting near the end. Finally. Um, but we get to talk about wintergreen, which, which I'm excited. I've got some stories about wintergreen, so, but that's for next time. Bye. Thanks. <laughs>